Hi class. <laughs> Today, oh sorry, you may hear Coco in the background or my son. Apologies. Um, so today we're going to talk about your SAT scores and your GPA and what does that mean for college applications. So first, someone had emailed me and I didn't really know the answer, but um, words. Oh, um, they were they were registered or thinking about registering for the June SAT. With what's the deal? I said I didn't know, and here it is. So due to the coronavirus, we're unable to administer. The June 6th SAT, we're providing two um, new testing opportunities, including adding a September 26th administration. So click there to get more information. Let's see if I click. Um, so that answers that. <laughs> so the June SAT um, is no, no go. Now you have, this doesn't really help me. This doesn't give me more information. All right, I, I regret clicking that. So if you want to ch check out this page, you can. Um, it's up to you. Miss K did have a message for me because I asked her what the deal was with the um, SAT. So Miss K, K said that she sent an email to all juniors through your QT Gmail with College Board updates, SAT dates, and a contact number in case they have tech issues. So I'm supposed to encourage you to please check your Gmail accounts. Apparently there is a SAT in August, but it's extremely limited. Um, so please, please, please go to your Gmail account where Miss K is sending you um, very important information. Um, so I had to relay that. So please, please, please check out that email account because she is trying to send you information. So again, so not, let's talk about SAT scores, right? So, sorry. One way to look if words, there are two ways to look at this college planning, right? Search for colleges. We all know this website is you can type in your scores, um, math, let's say you got a 600, and then uh, the English, you got a 580. And then they will show you all the schools that you could apply to and potentially get in solely based on the SAT information that you submitted. So that's one way to look at your SAT scores as they relate to college. Or you could type the college in here um, let's look at good old Roger Williams first, um, and, and I'll show you where to find it there. So you're on the Roger Williams page here. You're interested in going there when you scroll down, by the way, this copy and pasted right into the PowerPoint, right? About the information that would, uh, not paying, applying. So if you look here, it tells you, um, the number of applicants, how many people were accepted, the application fee, it's not that selective, and then they go through what's important, what they're looking at, and here where it says SAT, ACT store, scores, it'll give you the average, so you could see if you fall within that range. Um, and then if you scroll down, you can see what some folks got on their exam. So school, you really need between a, a thousand and about eleven hundred. Um, yeah, <laughs> is what they're they're looking at. All right, so that's the SATs. And again, one way to see if for that particular school if it's very important is when you click what's important. Um, the standardized exams are just considered so that's something to think about i just want to note for cuny it's your sat scores are going to be super super important so let's look at uh, cuny brooklyn all right so cuny brooklyn not a lot of students i know go here it's a very good school for um humanities so applying as i noted for CUNY, unfortunately, or for, it's up to you how you look at this, very important. GPA, rigor of study, meaning the classes you took, your SAT scores, and then look at your recommendations. So they're really looking for three these three things. So that you took the most challenging courses, what's your GPA, and what's your standardized test. So standardized test for this uh, school is going to be extremely important. We're going to look at that. And their average is about a 1040 to 1220. So if you're within that range, you're looking good.
Okay, um, so that's what you're looking at in terms of what does the SATs mean and how are schools looking at it. SUNY, I believe they look at other than those three. SUNY, SUNY, what's a good one? They're all good. Portland. My cousin went there. That's why I said it. Um, I've never heard someone go to Portland and not just fall in love with it. He actually played on a Quidditch team. And if you know what that is, you're just as nerdy as he is. All right, so applying. What do they look at? A little bit more, okay? So very important up here, but they are looking at your essay, your extracurriculars, and they're gonna consider some of these other things. Um, but still, top three, SAT, GPA classes you took, so what are the SATs between a 1090 and a 1230? All right, now let's talk about your GPA. So when you get your report card, you have numbers that look like this. But now we're talking about this. <laughs> so this is just a quick little chart to kind of show you, well, if I have, I'm an 81 student, that's a 2.7, okay? How does this translate? Okay, this is not, and this, again, this is not completely accurate. It gives you somewhat of an idea. These are unweighted scales. So meaning if you took an honors course or an AP or I think even college, they're weighted differently. So the GPA might be higher than the, the number. So this isn't foolproof, but if you're a B student, you're looking at about a three. If you're a C student, you're at about a two. So again, this might clarify some questions that you have. And then once you kind of figure out what around your GPA might be, you can go back on College Board and you can either search up schools through your GPA. All right, so um, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna add in, oh, just kidding, you can't do that here. That's fun. Um, it, it would be, I guess, looking at this, how selective it is. So just, just scratch all that from your memory. All right, let's put in another school, maybe CUNY, Hunter, or Baruch. Let's do Baruch here. So you go, oh, I'm interested in Baruch. It matches all of my requirements in terms of major and location and size. What's the GPA? Let's watch it's not here because sometimes I don't always post it and then I feel silly. Oh, here we go. All right. Yay. Okay. So most of the students that go here have around a 3.5. And if you look at our scale, these are mostly high 80s and 90s. These are 90 students, really. Okay. So high 80s, 90 students. Um, and SUNY. Let's look at SUNY at New Paltz. New Paltz is such a beautiful city. It's not that far away. It's very like artsy and fun. So let's see what SUNY wants. Applying, SAT, they're very selective. Um, what is, it? no, SAT, I want GPA. Sorry guys, Jack didn't take a nap today. Okay, um, so wow. That's competitive, right? So most students are over a 3.25, which is their B plus student, if I can remember, 3.25, 3. Yeah, I mean, that's 85s and higher. Um, so again, there are some folks that only had a two. So it's not make or break, but it gives you an idea about the breakdown. All right, this is a nice and short video. So I hope that helped explain about the SATs. You're probably not gonna take it until September. Remember, there's gonna be a ton of kids trying to take this test. So I would, um, apply for it sooner than later. All right, so that's the um, GPA and SAT portion. Jack's ready to roll. Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope you are all doing well. Let me know if you need anything.